snap, and every bacterium vanishes. Not just the ones that spoil food, but also the ones that keep our bodies and the planet running. Your gut alone hosts about 100 trillion bacteria. They digest fiber, make vitamins K, B12, and train your immune system. Without them, 30 to 40% of plant food would stop being absorbed. Within a couple of weeks, vitamin shortages would bring weakness, and T-cells could lose up to 30% of their punch. With the disappearance of lactobacilli, fermentation would stop. Yogurt, cheese, beer, gone. And because nearly half of all antibiotics are made with the help of bacteria, medicine would suddenly lose key weapons against infection. Bacteria also break down 60 to 70% of organic waste. Without them, roughly 2.2 billion tons of garbage a year would start piling up, and landfills would grow about 15% faster. Nitrogen-fixing microbes supply plants with around 140 million tons of nitrogen annually. Without them, crop yields would drop 40 to 50% in a single season. Food prices would skyrocket, and one-fifth of the world's population could face starvation. Cyanobacteria produce up to half of Earth's oxygen. In just a decade, atmospheric O2 would fall by 1 to 2%, like suddenly living at 2 kilometers, elevation without acclimatization. Their loss would also trigger ecosystem collapse and cut global biodiversity by about a third. The irony is that humanity spends about $50 billion a year on antibacterial products. Yet we couldn't survive a few decades without bacteria. After 15 to 20 years, the remaining humans would die out by starvation or by suffocation.